Hi all. Today we'll see about how we can call an agent from an FX class. So I'm gonna go to this documentation, which says calling an agent from a flow or FX class. And here there is an example already provided. So this is an example FX class which we can use to invoke an agent from the FX class. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to my developer org where agent force is already enabled. So I'm gonna go back to developer console. So here I'm going to create a new apex class in my developer console. So I'll click on file new apex class. I'll simply say invoke agent. And uh, inside this I'll create one method. So I'll just say this method as invoke agent from apex for now. And it will accept I will accept one parameter the method will accept one parameter that is nothing but user prompt or user message so what I'm gonna do is I'll simply save this apex class and I'll come back to this documentation and here I'm gonna copy this code and here I'm gonna paste it so I'll just do a zoom out yeah so what I'm gonna do here is I don't require this case ID for now so I'll just say remove this and here I'm gonna pass the user message and one more thing what we have to do is here the agent force name is different so th this is an agent force name which we have to give it for now we're gonna use agent force default so what I'm gonna do to get the agent force name I'll, I'll go go back to my salesforce org I'll go back to setup and here I'll search for agents so I'll click on agents. So this is the agent force defaults which is available. So I'll just copy the API name of it and I'm going to paste it here. And I'm going to click on save. So if you have any other agents for now we didn't create any agents. We are using the default one only. So if you create a new agents you can copy paste this API name of the agent here. So I'm going to try out this now what which prompt I can try is like updating the opportunities for example I'll just go back to the sales app so I'm going to try out this opportunity so what I'm going to do here is so I'll just open this thing and I'll try to execute this method so this is my method and here I'm going to pass the prompt I'll say simply say update opportunity name to apex or something like that so I'll just simply click on execute so let's see what our agent responds yeah now it got executed I'm gonna open the log which got generated I'll click on debug only and you can see it seems there are no opportunities for found with the name could you please provide more details specify the exact name of the opportunity you want to update so what i'm gonna do here is so it's unable to identify which opportunity to update so now i'm gonna provide the id of the opportunity so i'll simply comment out this statement and i'm gonna pass the opportunity id now and I'm gonna execute this. Let's see if it we'll, if it update the opportunity or not. Yeah, but it didn't update it, but it provided a summary because here the set it started a new session. So when we executed the first prompt, it started a new session. Again, we given the ID, it started a new session. So we're gonna maintain that session actually. So what I'm gonna do here is to maintain the session is, so whenever I execute the first prompt, saying update opportunity name to the apex, so agent will respond me asking for the record ID. But here we have to maintain that session ID. So we have to maintain that session ID. So the agent conversation happens. So first thing is I'm going to execute this prompt again. So it will again create a new session.
yeah now you can see it is asking for the opportunity name or the id but here it created a new session id to maintain that session id what i'm going to do here is i'll simply copy this session id and here while setting the input parameter so i'm going to use this session id as well so now it will follow that session id and it will follow that conversation and it will update the opportunity so i'm going to pass one more invoke invocation parameter with name as session id and i'm going to pass this session id so for now i'm going to hard code it so now what i'm going to do here is i'll go back to the screen and here now i'll execute the second action so in the conversation i just already entered a prompt saying that update opportunity name to apex now i am giving the id with the session id passing so now i'm going to execute this just open the lock click on debug only and you can see i found the opportunity id with the id would, would you like to update its name to fx so it's it's asking the confirmation so what i need to do here is i'm maintaining the same session id so you can see uh, whatever the session id which i passed as input the same session id came in output as well so it's maintaining the session id so now i can simply say my third user message will be yes so you can proceed with the update so I'll just click on execute highlighted and now it will update the opportunity name to apex. You can see the opportunity name is successfully updated to apex. I'll go back to this opportunity record and do a refresh here. And you can see the opportunity name got apex. So whenever you don't pass any session ID, it will automatically create a new session for you. Thanks for watching.